In his latest trip to the United States, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky met with both presidential candidates stopping by Trump Tower Friday morning. After November, we have to decide and we hope that the strength of the United States will be very strong and we count on it. That's why I decided to meet with both candidates. Former President Donald Trump has been critical of the war, suggesting this week that Ukraine should have given up some of its territory to Russia to end the more than two and a half year conflict. We have a very good relationship and I also have a very good relationship, as you know, with President Putin. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly. Thursday, standing side by side with Zelensky, Vice President Harris criticized those comments. These proposals are the same of those of Putin. And let us be clear, they are not proposals for peace. Instead, they are proposals for surrender. This afternoon, Harris heads to the U.S.-Mexico border in Arizona for her first visit in three years, where she plans to call for tougher border security. She has vowed to sign a bipartisan bill that fell apart earlier this year after Trump opposed it. Donald Trump got word of the bill, realized it was going to fix a problem he wanted to run on, and told him to kill the bill, don't put it up for a vote. Trump has hammered the vice president for record crossings under the Biden administration last year. She's done a horrible job, and she'll be out there tomorrow standing probably in front of the wall that I built trying to say what a wonderful job she did. The GOP nominee is campaigning in Michigan today with a focus on the economy. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.